We've started talking about separation techniques uh, and their scientific processes for separating uh, mixtures into their pure substances. And actually quite surprisingly, there's a lot of separation techniques talked about in the Bible. And they're talked about because they're used as imagery for something else. One of them is called winnowing. So you get grain that you've harvested and you go through a process that um, breaks the husk or the chaff away from the actual grain that you can eat. And um, this process called winnowing, you throw the grain up and the grain itself is actually heavy, so it falls back down. But the chaff, the useless stuff, the bad stuff, gets blown away by the wind. I think that's a really uh, amazing, a really kind of smart process. Now the message behind a lot of these passages that talk about these separation techniques, passages like Psalm 1, for example, um, the message behind them is often quite similar actually. It's that God is involved in this massive purification process where all the good gets separated from all the bad and the bad gets thrown out forever. And that's actually really good news. The uncomfortable side of it is that actually, if I'm honest with myself, I know that I'm going to end up on the wrong side of that purification process that separation, I'm going to end up out there if I don't get some help. And the, the good news of the Bible is that God actually gives us help, right? His solution is that he offers grace and he does this in this unimaginable way where as Jesus dies on the cross, we have God separated from God. Never before has that happened, never again will it happen now that Jesus is risen but for a time God is separated from God on my behalf and that's wonderful news and a consequence of that is actually that his spirit can clean me up on the inside as well it's this ongoing purification process so there you go separating techniques in the Bible <laughs>